بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماء to Allah the creator of mankind mudabbir al umur bila waziri the one who alternates issues without an advisor wala sharikin without a partner al qail Allah the says wala qad khalaqna as samawati wal ard وما بينهما في ستة أيام وما مسنا من لغوب. He says we have created heaven and earth and all our creatures in between them, in between the heavens and earth in six days. وما مسنا من لغوب. It wasn't difficult for us not to talk of us sweating on this job. Ahmad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I praise Allah glorify him the one and only Hamdan khalisan law a sincere praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wahdahu wa nashkuruna we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala qadri ma yashkur li nafsi exactly the way he thanks himself shadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah Every our witness in the oneness of Allah, the one and only without a partner. Wa ashadu anna sayyidana wa nabiyyana wa malana Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. In the same degree, a peer witness that our leader, our master, our tutor, our teacher, and our Lord, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, remains a great messenger and a great servant of Allah Ballagha al-Risala wa Adil Amana He actually disseminated the message given to him in accordance with the divine directives and he actually guided trust and gave back all that is entrusted upon him Wa Atamma Ibadah and of course, he perfected the worship of Allah. Ask us salat wa salamu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabi wa kullu man shahid annahu rasulullah. May the purest form of blessings and uh, favors of Allah and peace of Allah be upon the said prophet. May it be extended to his household, his companion, and everyone that believes in the messengership of Prophet Muhammad among man and jinn. Amma abad faya ibad Allah, servant of Allah, fattaqu Allah rabbakum, fiya Allah, fiya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be conscious of Allah, we will continue to say this repeatedly, wala taqnatu min rahamatihi, do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah. It cannot be too late for anyone to receive mercy from Allah. La taqna tu min rahmatihi. Do not be pessimistic in terms of the mercy of Allah. Inna hu la yaqna tu min rahmati Allah illa al-kawm al-khasirun. No one will be so hopeless of the mercy of Allah except the losers among his creatures. Allah is too great for anyone to think it is too late for Allah to be merciful with him or her. We ever have this kind of notion, this kind of belief, this kind of thought will surely be counted among the losers. <laughs> Repent unto Allah. Get closer to Allah every now and then. When it is smooth, repent unto Allah, be close to Allah. When it is tough, when it is rough, be close to Allah, repent unto Allah. Watawakalu alayhi. Do not rely on anyone.
Do not rely on anyone except on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُخْزِ الْمُتَوَكِّلِينَ Allah that you see will never disappoint those who sincerely rely upon him. Ibadullah al-Kiram, Hararibu Sabbath of Allah, مَا زِنَّا فِي هَذَا الشَّارِ الْمُبَارَةِ شَعْرُ الْمُمْتَفِلًا بِكُلِّ النَّفَحَاتِ النُّورَانِيَةِ We are still in the mouth of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Shahr Rabi'ul Awwal is the month of Sayyid al-Ujudi wa alam al-Shuhudi Mawlana Muhammad. This is the month of the greatest of all mankind, Prophet Muhammad. We are still in his month. The month that is full of spiritual aroma. The month that is full of whips of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaharun wulida fi khairul bariya. This is the man where the best of mankind was born. Even ya ibad Allah. On this note, servant of Allah, la nazalu naqtabisu wa naakhudul adaba min hayat Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. We will not stop from learning. We will not stop learning from his kind of life. The teachings of the style of his life. At least this we earn us a lot of rewards and we make a change in our life if we continuously, continuously learn from the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Man asha aishatan naqiyatan wa mata matata sofiyatan. This is the man that lived a very sincere, very neat, very pure life and die a sincere life. Why won't we learn from him? لذلك قال الله عز وجل بقائل لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخرة وذكر الله كثيرا. Prophet Muhammad is nothing but an encyclopedia of lies. Encyclopedia could be more useful even than dictionary. It depends on how you make use of it. That is the adjective I can use for the Holy Prophet Muhammad. It's like a life manual. We continue to learn from him as much as you want to end well. And you have hope to meet Allah well. No one will learn from the life of Rasulullah except those who constantly remember Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibadullah fa khutbat mal yawm tu'aliju ya amal wal murunatu min hayati Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. If you want to continue to discuss the lifestyle of the Holy Prophet Muhammad and the lessons therein, throughout this year and next year, we will not stop learning from the Holy Prophet Muhammad. For he was a complete human being. Some say he's the best husband. Some say he's the best father. Some say he's the best brother. Some say he's the best cousin. Some say he's the best neighbor. Some say he's the best leader. Everything you can think about that a man occupies in this life, you find him there, you find him as the best of all. That is Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, we want to look at the teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad on the concept of hope and resilience. The issue of hope and resilience. How can we have hope in Allah, even with the present situation in our country? How can we endure the pain and also be optimistic in the mercy of Allah? These are some of the things we can learn from the Holy Prophet Muhammad, and this is what we want to discuss today, using Nigeria as a case study. Ibadullah al Abrar, Nuhani wa Fusana wa Nuhani wa Nigeria. We congratulate ourselves and congratulate our country, wa Nigeria fi kulli akhtar al Ard, and Nigerians all over the world. 
على عيد الاستقلال الثالث وستين on the independence anniversary of the age of Nigeria that is now 63. Nigeria turned 63, exactly the age of Rasulullah when he died. And we are also in the era and the period of the Maulid Nabi. Nigeria marks and celebrates its age as an independent nation of 63 years anniversary. And Rasulullah Sallallahu that we are talking about his birthday, trying to learn from his lifestyle, lived for 63 years before his death. Can you see that coincidence? Nigeria is 63. Prophet Muhammad died at 63, and independence falls in the month of Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. La yasalu al-labibu al-adibu al-abqariyu yasalu nafsahu wa yasalu kulla man min al-mu... kullu min al-muwattinin ayna nah. Every right-thinking Nigerian, every wise Nigeria, every genius in this country must ask this question. Where are we at the age of 63? What is the direction of Nigeria at the age of 63? A man of 63 years of age should know his right from his left. Should know the direction in which he is going to follow. If at 63, someone still don't know what he's doing, what would you say to that person? If someone at the age of 60 is still not balancing the equation, does not really know whether to move forward or backward, either to the right or left, or to remain stagnant, like stagnant water. Nigeria is 63, alhamdulillah. Where is the country in comparison to other countries? How can you compare Nigeria with other countries who are younger than Nigeria? There are so many countries who are doing well, and they give birth to their independence before Nigeria. The younger brothers and younger sisters of Nigeria who be doing well. Now, yet, Nigeria is still finding it very difficult to balance. ثقافية وتربية وحضورية واقتصادية واجتماعية وأين نحن من كل جانب من جوانب الحياة نتطور أم يلحق بنا الاحتطاط؟ In all ramification, where is Nigeria today? Politically, educationally, economically, and in all ramification, where is Nigeria today? Ibad Allah, are we moving forward or backward? We have to understand this. Are we experiencing promotion or demotion? Are we experiencing elevation or decadence or degradation or degeneration in this country today, Ibad Allah? Al Mashaikh Al Adida to Waji Hu Nigeria, Kadawlati Mustakilati Mima, Yuknatul Mwatunin, Al Mustakbal Hari Idawla, Amma Mazalika, Fala Wayo Mumilun, Amma Lala Kulishi Kodi. The situation of Nigeria today, considering the age of Nigeria, makes some of us to lose hope in Nigeria. As if nothing is futuristic in Nigeria. As if Nigeria has no future. As if. But with that, as Muslims, we are warned not to lose hope in anything. Our attention is called to being hopeful, being optimistic in all situations, in all conditions, even if Nigeria looks as if there's no more hope. Even if it looks as if there's no more hope in this country. But if you believe in Allah, Allah is that hope. As long as we cannot do without Allah, and you see Allah as a hope, even though Allah does not renew anything. 
Allah, you cannot renew the hope because he is the hope himself. No development happened to Allah. Allah does not grow. He does not develop. It is haram for Allah to say, ah, in fact, Allah yesterday was at this level, but today Allah has gone higher and higher. Haram in Islam. You cannot say that to Allah. It's an insult to Allah to say Allah develops and Allah grows from strength to strength. It's only man that grows from strength to strength. It is only man that develops from one level to another. Allah will never develop the way he was one million years ago. So he is up to today. So he will continue up to tomorrow. So therefore, Allah remains our hope in Allah. Hayyan tarez na tazayyaha bi sirat al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa na ta'adda min hayati badat al-musibah fi hayat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mundu badat al-nazul al-wahi alayhi nazal al-wahi alayhi awwala marra. Let us have a look at the early beginning of wahi of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Well, I am only trying to look at the early stage of Wahai, of revelation for the Holy Prophet Muhammad and the independence of Nigeria on the 1st October 1960. And we are in year 2023. What happened? The challenges started when Rasulullah start receiving revelation from Allah when he, when he was called upon as a messenger and prophet of Allah. Mind you, no messenger will be asked to start disseminating divine message before the age of 40. Are we together? No prophet will be called upon and crowned with the crown of prophethood until he reaches the age of 40. Hatta ila balaga ashuddahu wa balaga arba'ina sana. They must reach the age of 40. Maybe that's why they said, they say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. Maybe age of 40 is also a golden age, even in the sight of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started receiving wahai from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the challenge started. Ibadallah. For Hayat Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mundhu bada nuzul al-wahai alayhi nazal al-wahai awwala marra. Why Rasulullah? The first thing is that the angel Jibreel he had never before then physically get it right. There is no time Angel Jibreel does not come close to Rasulullah. Allah created them to serve Rasulullah. One of their major and primary assignments is to serve Rasulullah. They are in no way his leader. He's rather their leader. But the first appearance for Rasulullah to sight him with his naked eyes was the beginning of al wahayu When Angel Jibril appeared to him, I do not need to go into that. You know what happened? When you are seeing angel physically for the first time, Rasulullah was trembling, shivering. That is, is a spirit. It's like a spirit. Invisible being are what we call angels. Invisible, now visible. Invisible, now visible. How do you think it will be to someone who is having that encounter for the first time? The beginning of issues with the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And the moment Jibril appeared to him and gave him ikra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, khalaq al-insana min alaq, ikra wa rabbuka al-akam alladhi allama bil qalam, allama al-insan ma lam ya'ad. This is what Rasulullah Sallam encountered from the Holy Prophet Muhammad and from the angel Jibril alayhi salatu was salam. He did not come back again. He was coming and going. But after six months, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
was asked to rise and he, it was said to him come fa andir wa rabbaka fa kabbir wa thiyabaka fa tahir ya ayyuha al mudaththir ya ayyuha al muzammil kum fa andir wa rabbaka fa kabbir wa thiyabaka fa tahir wa rujis fa hajur wa la tamnun tastakthir wa li rabbika fasjid subhanallahu wal azim it is high time you get up get up to your primary task start calling people to the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa bada nuzul hadhihi al-aya ibadallah bada an-nabi wajibat ad-da'wa wa aba'aha bi'idhar an-nas fada'a aqrab an-nas ilayhi wa hum ahluhu sallallahu alayhi wa ashabahu limuddat thalath sanawat wa hazihi da'watun sirriya he started secretly calling his closest family to the way of Allah. You know what? If as an imam, as a preacher, as a tutor, as a teacher, if you want to succeed, you have to start from home. That is how Allah has asked Prophet Muhammad to go about it, for charity begins at home. So Rasulullah was asked to call his people. He was going about silently disseminating the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam al-jar bi da'wa he nama nazala qawlu ta'ala wa anzira shirataka al-aqrabin fa talaqa an-nabi li da'wati qawmihi hatta waqafa ala jabal as-safa munadiyan iyahum wa hadhi bidayatu idha'i quraysh li rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa lil muslimin when Allah asked him go beyond that he started silently calling people to the way of Allah secretly after some time, after three years, Rasul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him, speak louder, Muhammad. Speak louder. That is when he mounted the mount, mountain of Arafah and started calling his people. It is when you declare yourself as something that people now look at you, you, even you, that we know your mother, you know your father, we know when they marry your mother. What do you want to tell us today? What do you know about life? That you are claiming to be a messenger of Allah. There's a great lesson here. Anybody can be anything at any time as long as it is by the will of Allah. Anybody can be anything at any point in time as long as it is the will of who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the beginning of the persecutions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. That is when he started suffering from their hands and his followers. When he came out to claim that I am the messenger of Allah. Walam yaqinot, walam yuqinot Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa muslimun amin rahmatullahi wa sallallahu karbahum bil hijra wa fata allahu lahu makka baada ashara sadawat min al hijra. The prophet of Islam, we all know we have read this history before. What he went through with the Meccans. When I say Meccans, that's the people of Mecca. Yani Ahlu Mecca. They dealt with him severely. He never lose hope for once. He never lose what? Hope. That is the major point we want to make at today's summer. Never lose hope no matter how bad the condition. Never lose hope in Allah. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. It means that Nigeria still have future. It means that Nigeria, can st we can still make it in Nigeria. If we are hopeful in Allah, do not be hopeful in any fellow human being. No. Do not rely on any fellow human being, but rely on who? The way Rasulullah rely on Allah when the people of Mecca face him with persecutions, with severe punishment, they gave him house arrest without food and his followers. He survived it and believed in Allah, was optimistic in Allah until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him order to move out of Mecca to Medina. 
that was not that was not the first migration of Rasulullah. It was not easy. We have to be strong and be tough in the hope of Allah. You have to be patriotic as Nigerians. You have to be optimistic as Nigerians. You have to be hopeful in Allah as Nigerians, as Muslims. That is the only way we can get it right about Allah. And do the right thing. Instead of apportioning blames on others, blame yourself first before any other one. We are all involved in this problem. None of us is free in this problem. We have to understand this about the law. The prophet, don't forget it, he was silently and secretly calling people to the way of Allah for three years before Allah says, raise your voice. Then he did this for another 10 years, making 13 years in Mecca. That was when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now ordered him give him permission to move out of Mecca to Medina and on getting to Medina Rasulullah was warmly received that reception was the beginning of Fatihu ala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam somebody some group of people threw away from his own fatherland was now warmly received by another set of people in Medina, alayhi salatu was salam. Ibad Allah, when Rasulullah get to Medina, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him an authority. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened so many doors of mercies and favors to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And at that point in time, they were very focused, very serious about what the Amana Allah has given to them. Until all of us sees this country as Amana, we may not get it right. Having hope in Allah is one thing. Seeing it as an Amana is another. Nigeria remains chop, make a chop. Until we change this mindset, until we know that the treasury public fund is not national cake, there's nothing like national interest in this nation but individual and selfish interests. When I get here, I take what belongs to me and I go away. Another one come, take what belongs to him or her and go away. I want to believe about Allah, whether you are dealing with me or not. Nigeria is, if not number one, the strongest country on the surface of the heart, as far as I'm concerned. You know what? At the beginning of the fuel removal, if you notice, the first month, the road was almost empty. First month. People park their car, they look for other alternative. Some were complaining, and you know, the rest of them. Some of them are still managed to go out. Where you are expecting 200 cars, you'll be finding like 20 and 50. But after the second month, Nigeria is back to the road, as if nothing has happened. Even though it is not easy for anyone. We so we we can endure in this country. Nigeria is a special created country. Nigeria is one of the country Allah loves most, if you don't know. As bad as we are, we can always adjust. What happened? cannot easily happen in other country. The country will have caught fire. But Nigeria is a great country. And when we say Nigeria, are we not Nigerians? Reason why we are saying this to ourselves, that one of those things we need to do to have a lasting solution to this is to call ourselves to order about the law. If this can happen, 
اذا يا عباد الله ما ما اشتد عليك الدار فلا تكنت ولا تقل من توكلك على الله لانه لا يحصي المتوكلين no matter how rough it is just make sure that nothing disconnects you from Allah refuse to be disconnected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'll give an example of someone who prays to Allah every now and then you wake up in the morning tell Allah the same thing in the afternoon the same thing and the evening the same thing over the night the same thing you continue to do this for seven days and yet Allah has not given you your has not granted your request as a fellow human being you feel weak you get discouraged your faith will start shaking but to say when we pray to Allah Allah answers prayer yes won't you be patient you have to be patient do not forget that one of the attributes of Allah is a sabur, the patient. Allah is a sabur. Do not forget of other prophets of Allah who made a request before Allah and Allah did not grant that request until after 11 years. How many of us can be patient like that? So when you are praying to Allah, you need to be patient with Allah. Don't, don't compare prayer with juju. They are two parallel lines. Sometimes juju can happen very fastly, very quickly, because it is satanic in nature. Charms can be satanic in nature. No matter how fetish you are, you cannot get what does not belong to you. It is only prayer that can fetch you this. They say, little by little, long journey will be covered. When you are patient with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ista'inu bi sabri wa salat, innaha la kabiratum illa ala al-khashi'in. We are not patient. Somebody will ask you, Imam, do you have very tough nekali? Tough one. I say, I don't know what is tough. What is tough? No, there's nothing that is tough. To bone, I don't know. We are not to bone now. Something you want, you want is some of us want magic. We want miracles, but Allah only perform wonders. You cannot be praying. Is there any nakali when you start praying and dollars will be dropping from your ceiling? Have you have you ever come across that as such nakali? No. That's not the way it works. Except you want to invoke the genes. Those who know how to invoke genes. It is genes that bring, that money that is dropping is not from Allah, it's from the genes. You have to have a strong faith in Allah. And anyone who uses genes to bring money, we end up in Jahannam. Jahannam is your abode. Because genes have spiritual power, they, we call them spirit invisible being. They will enter into some treasury and loot the treasury and bring it to you to spend. You say you have nakali. Because if you discover yourself and you are strong enough spiritually, you can send even angels on error, not only Jane. You can even, I repeat on this member, a fellow human being can send both jinn and angel on errand if you know your way. Yes. That is why it is good for us to be patient when you are praying unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't you understand one thing? Each time you are praying to Allah, you're, you are calm. You are more hopeful. Your mind is relaxed. You are more optimistic. When you pray to Allah, when you pray to Allah, not through juju. So what we are trying to say here is, let us learn hope and resilience from the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. No matter how rough it is for us today in Nigeria, let's be hopeful and it gets better. Not all of us can travel abroad. I, at this level, I cannot japa. I can't japa. Japa to wear. How can I japa at my age, at my level to wear? Whatever japa, I will japa in Nigeria because Nigeria must be better. Nigeria must be okay. 
we must all put our hand together, our mouth together, put to fix Nigeria. I have traveled wide, and I know what happened there. I cannot subject myself to certain things. Even though some have their reasons for going, what I'm saying is you cannot choose Japa as the only way out to the solution. That I must get out of this country. Now, the problem is a collective one. And do not put your hope on anyone other than Allah. Wa ala Allahi faliyatawakkanilmutawakkilun. If you must rely on anyone, if you must have hope on anyone, it has to be on Allah. If you want to be optimistic in anything, be optimistic in Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then in this regard, check yourself. Hasib nafsaka kobla an As an individual, as a Nigerian, are you doing the right thing? In your own smaller unit, in your department, in your ministry, in your agency, in your commission, are you doing the right thing before blaming even your director? Are you doing the right thing? The work given to you, are you doing it well? You have Hasib Nafsaka. This is what Rasulullah Sallallahu says. These are the things we need to learn from his mouli. It's not all about celebrating, jumping and beating bandiri. That is a little part of it. But what do you learn from Rasulullah? At our respective levels, how do you undo your offices? Your schedule, how do you undo it? Before you put a partial blame on your director or your immediate boss, from your AD to DD to director, before you apportion blame on the PAMSEC, before the minister, before the, I mean, the vice president and the president. You have to assess yourself first. Assess yourself and make sure you are upright. You are doing the right thing. You cannot remain in discipline, discipline. And in discipline someone want to discipline another. No, it's not possible. It will not work. There are some areas where all of us are also corrupt. May Allah forgive all of us. Nobody will be exonerated. Whatever, whatever you know you are doing against this country, in your own heart, make a change. Change begin. If that happened, if, if we are able to achieve that, that, then we can have a renewal hope. But we couldn't achieve even that one. How can we achieve this? But Islam is saying that do not lose hope. When Rasulullah was persecuted with his ummah, he never lose hope. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala later supported him and made him an authority. Those who sent him out of Mecca that day, when Rasulullah was coming back to Mecca, even at the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, we all read it. Was, it not, that, was that not enough for Rasulullah to say, ah, I'm even tired of Allah said, You showed me that when I come to Mecca this year, I will be allowed. And my enemies will go on exile. What is happening again? We have to be refused entrance to Mecca again. And Allah said, I didn't tell you this year. I only told you you will gain entrance to Mecca and you become an authority. The following year, Rasulullah came to Mecca the way Allah promised him as an authority. All his enemies went on exile. Those who could not lock themselves inside. Because that is when Allah now referred to him. That since Rasulullah was born, that was his happiest day in life. We can achieve the same thing in Nigeria. When you check yourself, you evaluate yourself, you correct yourself, have a change of mindset, now be hopeful in Allah. Wala hawla wala quwwata.
ان الحمد لله الملك القدوس الواحد القهار خالق السماوات والارض all in deep praises are due to allah the dominion the holy the one and only the sublime the creator of heaven and heart wa huwa la kulli shay'in qadir of god he has possessed power I shall your blessings your prayers your peace upon the best man who works on the service of the heart ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh Bear with us that no one but him and prophet Muhammad remain his great servant and messenger ibadallah honorable servant of allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and i repeat la taqnatu min rahmatillah as far as nigeria is concerned nigerians should not be hopeless of it we cannot be hopeless nigeria is at 63 and rasulullah died at the age of 63 he achieved a lot Nigeria can see it achieve a lot. There are men of God in this country. We have bad. The so-called men of God are there. The real men of God are in this country, I swear by Allah. If not, things will have gone out of hand. We still believe in Allah and we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only thing is that we are somehow more religious than being godly look at our mosque now is filled up full to the brim outside the same thing let us check our hearts it's very important observing salat alone cannot save us before allah and we must observe salat and we must be sincere in whatever we do as an act of ibadah and at the same time our country is our individual project it's not the current dispensation the current government's project all alone it's our respective uh, projects when you see it as a project definitely nigeria will succeed when you check yourself you correct yourself then you blame less and do not continue to curse your leaders it is against islamic monotheism the rules of islamic monotheism to curse your leaders it will never be better for him he will never get it right may allah destroy all of them that is not islam even where they kill themselves we are not expected to do so now finally let's not stop praying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al quran says ud'uni astajib lakum call on me that's what allah says and i promise to answer your call do not lose hope because when you lose hope you can't pray again because you believe after all i've been praying and praying and praying don't forget that your prayer has three purposes number one it's either it hit the nail on the head that's what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said so you continue to pray on nigeria allah will answer our prayer as long as we are also ready to have a change of mindset if you are praying to allah and allah has not granted that particular request wait that's what rasulullah says Number one, when you pray to Allah for a particular thing, it's either it hit the nail on the head and the, your request is granted instantly. That's one. If it's not granted, then listen to Rasulullah. He says, another thing is, yusra for anka soul. That prayer will be used to avert evils off your way. Maybe something that, that would befall you is about to happen. Instead of Allah to grant that particular request, He will use that prayer to avert the evil. That's the second purpose of our prayer. And finally, you are asking Allah to do this and that for you, but Allah says your file is not enough. You do not have a, you do not have a lot, enough good deeds in your file. So it is better I keep this for you in your file to meet on your akhirah. That those are the three major purposes of prayer. In the Allah Abdul Ahsan, wa itai zukub wa yana al fasha al mukal bagi ya izukul Allah kutabat karun. Whatever Allah says yes to, say yes to it. Whatever He says no to, say no to. Is Rabbi na taqabbal min na ilaqat al sabi al alim. Tuwali na yamu na taqabbal rahim. Wa fil na rahmat al dhuf rahim. Subhan Rabbi ka Rabbi al izzat ya maysul. Salam al amsani wa hamdulillah wa bilahi. Min kuma ila salatikum ya rahmukum Allah. Oh.